Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put a tick in a box in Word. I'm currently using Office 365 and a Wacom pen. If you're interested in putting either of those items, please do click on the links below in the description. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is what we're trying to do. But there are several ways that you can do this, and that's because sometimes when you're trying to put a tick in a box, it's often that you've been given a PDF file that you've converted into Word, or you've been given a Word file, and you're not always sure what this or how this box has been constructed. It might be a shape, it might be a symbol, we're not quite sure. So what I will do is show you several ways in which to achieve this, and hopefully one of them will work in your document. So let's just get rid of both of these first. And we'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a box. And firstly, the reason I'm going to do this is to show you how one of the ways in which to do this doesn't work and why. So I've gone onto the insert tab up here and across to advanced symbols. And here you'll have a drop down menu with hundreds and hundreds of different lists but one of the most common is this wing dings down here. Now this will bring up a number of symbols in here but what it will do is it will bring up a tick here and we also have a box here. So if I click on the box, press insert and close you'll see that we get a nice box and this is this acts very much like a, a letter um, that you've just typed on your keyboard. So it will move around in the same way. You can't click on it and drag it around the document, but you can highlight it in the same way you would text. And that's the way this particular square operates in your document. So in order to put a tick box over there, if I go back up to the advanced symbol here, and I click on the tick here, and press insert, which it already has done, you'll see that the tick comes up here. And once again, this tick acts as if it's just another letter that you have typed on your keyboard. So if I press spacebar, it will move. If I press the delete key, it will move. If I put the cursor between the tick and the box, it will uh, move. If I press the spacebar and again, delete. Let's just undo that. But what I can't do is put the tick on top of the box because it's just like text. You can't put the X on top of the O or the B on top of the O because it acts like text. So we have to find a way in which to get this symbol here into this box here. The first way to do this is to click on text box. So you're in the insert tab up here. Click on text box, draw text box, and you simply click and drag. Now we're going to get rid of this tick here, show you exactly how we're going to do this. Okay, so if we click off the text box and then we go to the insert tab, the advanced symbol tab, it may well be that you just have a simple tab that says symbols and it may well be around this area here. Uh, because I'm working on a Mac, obviously if you're working on um, an Android, then this may come up slightly differently. But you just need to look for the symbol or the advanced symbol drop down. So we go back to Wingdings here and we'll click on the tick and then click Insert and Close. Now what we have to do is highlight the tick and then we go to Home, we copy and then we highlight the text box, we double click so our cursor is flashing and we just click paste. Now you can use command or control C to copy, command or control V to paste or you can right click and use the copy and paste icons here. Okay now we're going to get rid of that tick and now we've got a tick inside our text box. Now what we can do, we don't have to make our text box particularly small, but just small enough so that we can just move it onto our box. Now, at the moment, you can see 
if I move it on top of the text box, you can't see the text box. And sometimes if you try to move this box, it won't nudge either way. It keeps clicking back to its original location. If that happens, then just simply go up to shape format. If the shape format doesn't appear, so it's gone now, just click on your text box and it will appear up here. Go up to shape format and go along to wrap text. And if you just go to the drop down, it doesn't matter if you um, click tight, but normally you'll need to click on in front of text. And that will allow you to move this box any way you want in your document. So because when we move this over here, you can't see the box through it, it's because it actually currently has a white background and a black outline. Both of those we want to get rid of. So again, ensuring that your text box is selected, go up to Shape Format, and we go to Shape Fill, click the drop down, and click No Fill. And then with Shape Outline again, go to the drop down arrow, and click No Outline. And once we've done that, we can simply move our tick and pop it in the box. Now we can move this tick uh, we can reduce the size of this tick to about there. Any smaller and the margins of the box will start to interfere with the shape of the tick as you can see here. Okay, so you can just about reduce it to about there and then you have your tick in the box. Now if you want to have a tick that goes completely inside the box then you'll need to use a slightly different technique. So if we move this over to here and then we click up here to insert and we go along to icons, what you'll find, so if I just click off here, what you'll find in icons is you come up with quite a number of different icons that you can use in Word. If you just type the word tick into the search bar, you can see that a tick appears here. If you click on the circle, go down to insert, you can see that this gigantic tick appears. So again, we can reduce the size of this, but again, this is what I was talking about earlier. If I try and drag this tick around, it's all a bit clunky. So again, if you go to graphic format, you go to wrap text, click down and click in front of text then once again you can start to move this tick around to where you need it to be. Now because it's an icon, it doesn't actually have a background or a border. So that's one problem you don't need to worry about. And once again, you can just slowly reduce the tick. If I just increase the size of my screen, you can reduce the size of your tick and then simply move it to the box and you can reduce it enough that you can actually get it inside the box. You can just use your arrow keys to just nudge it left and right up and down. So that's if you want the tick actually inside the box. But you can also change the shape of the tick. So if you wanted a slightly taller tick or a slightly wider tick, um, completely your choice. Again, if you further wanted to uh, change the shape of this tick, you can go up to this convert shape icon here. This is in the graphic format tab. If that doesn't appear, it's because your tick isn't selected. Select the tick and the graphic format will appear. Go to convert to shape. Then just click yes in the alert and then you can convert it to a shape and then what you can do in the shape format is you can actually edit the shape. So click on shape format, click edit shape, and then you can click edit points. Now you can see that there are all these different points here that you can just move around if you want to. It can kind of get a bit crazy, but you can really change the shape of your tick mm -hmm. if you chose to do so. And then again, once your tick's highlighted, you can reduce the size of it and you can pop it in your box. So you really can choose whatever size tick you want. You can change the shape of it. Um, there's a simple and easy way, which is a text box, 
or again if you wanted to use the icon and do something a bit more fancy then you can and it also allows you with the icon to actually put the tick inside the box but both of these different techniques will allow you to put the tick in the box regardless of the type of document that you've been sent or you're working in. So if you've converted something from a PDF file, sometimes they may have used some kind of template where the box is static and you're having all kinds of problems typing or just putting any kind of text in the document. So often a text box will work very well and in this case also an icon. So I hope that's helped, I hope that solved your problem and um, if it has please subscribe and have a great day.